Hi there, welcome to kindergarten. My name is Mrs. Sifke and I will be your child's kindergarten teacher. I'm really excited to have them in our class this year. And I thought today I would just go ahead and go through a little bit about what our classroom looks like. Just a little bit about myself. My name is Mrs. Sifke and this is my 18th year in kindergarten. I have three children that all attend Port Clinton City Schools. They are in 10th, 7th, and 4th grade. My husband, Mr. Sifke, is also the Baton physical education teacher. Here's just a picture of our family. And a typical day in kindergarten looks like this. We will start our day with a morning meeting. We will have a foundations lesson that talks to us about letters and sounds and how to write letters properly. We will have reading centers, which will consist of uh, the writing center, the teacher center, where, where I will work on the, with them individually. Um, they will go to the ABC center. They will work with iPads and Chromebooks all throughout that time. Um, they will have math lessons each day. We will have reading and writing lessons where we read stories and learn about how to become better writers. We will have phonemic awareness lessons with our Hegarty program that works on rhyming and syllables um, and hearing beginning sounds and words and ending sounds and words. Each child will have reading intervention to meet their own individual needs. Science and social studies will be integrated into our reading lessons and our writing lessons. The students will have special classes. They will go to gym, library, music, and art. Um, this year with our hybrid plan, the special schedule looks a little different. So they will have um, two weeks where they will have to get all of those specials and then they just will repeat themselves. We will have our R Factor lessons, which talks about becoming a better person and our social emotional behavior as well. Each day we will also have a snack that is provided um, by you from home just to help them get through their school day. Masks are expected to be worn at school each day. We'll have plenty of mask break opportunities for the students. Please make sure to send your child in a mask that they are able to easily put on themselves and wear most comfortably. It, you may want to pack an extra mask in their book bag just in case something happens to the one that they were wearing for the day. One of the most important key pieces of communication will be our red rainbow folder. I ask that you check that red folder each day when your child brings that home. Clean out all the papers. If you have any lunch money to send in, you're going to want to put that in like a Ziploc bag or an envelope with your child's name on it and put that in their red folder. They show me their red folder every single day. That is the main part of our communication. If you have any notes or transportation changes for the day, those also need to be put in the red folder. I ask that you please do not just put random lunch money or notes just thrown inside their book bags um, because I don't always look inside their book bags. I look in the red folder every single day. So if you could help with that, that would be wonderful. They'll bring home lots of papers each day as well. So please take some time to read through and look and see at uh, the different work that they've done throughout the school day. Class Dojo will be another way that we can communicate with one, of the, one, with one another. Please sign up to join our class. Your child will have a class code in their red folder um, that will be coming home with them on the very first day of school. Um, each child will have a little avatar that um, they will be earning points for their good behavior in the classroom and positive um, things that they do in the classroom. I will also post classroom pictures and classroom messages and communicate with you directly through Class Dojo. Um, I have sent a link to most phone numbers, so you might have received that already. Um, but we would like everybody to sign up to be on Class Dojo so that we can communicate um, back and forth that way. Expectations for kindergarten. Some of our end of the year goals will be to be reading books independently. They will be able to identify um, sight words, write complete sentences, spell three letter words, count to 100, identify the numbers, add and subtract. Um, so we have a lot of work to do and we're excited to get started very soon. This is a picture of our baton expectations and our pledge. The words together, relentless pursuit of growth, and own it are all part of our R factor that we will be teaching the students. Each day we will say this pledge together to start our day. Just a little bit of nurse information. It's really important to keep an extra set of clothes in a Ziploc bag at the bottom of your child's book bag, just in case they have a spill or any accidents. It's a 
quick way that we can change their clothes easily um, here at school. Any health concerns, please let the nurse know. If you have immunization and paperwork, that must be turned in as soon as possible, and that can be sent in their red folder as well. We can get that to our nurse. Each day, the students will have a snack. This snack is just something that um, helps them get through the afternoon. We will have a quick snack in the afternoon. They do not need a drink. We have water bottles here at school that we will be providing them with water, but if they have a, a drink that they like, you, you are welcome to send that as well. Um, please send in a healthy snack such as pretzels or goldfish or small pieces of fruit cut up, something that's small and easy for them to open on their own and eat quickly. We don't spend a lot of time during snack time, um, but we do take a quick little break in the afternoon so they can um, eat. Sometimes students choose to, if they packed their lunch, just finish some of their lunch. So if you want to pack something extra in their lunch box, um, you can do that for snack as well. Um, Snack donation, sometimes we all forget things. Um, and I usually just try to keep a stash of um, some pretty basic snack items here at school. So if you would like to donate a bag of pretzels or goldfish crackers, I try to keep the same snack on hand for those that forget so they aren't wanting my snack all the time instead of um, something from home. Um, but that's just in the case that you have forgotten. Otherwise, you need to provide that snack each day. Kindergarten dismissal. Always call our school office for a change in dismissal for the day or send in a note if you know that know of that change before school. Please do not send dismissal messages on Dojo. Um, I don't always get to look at Dojo during the school day while I'm teaching, so I could miss a message or if for some reason I wouldn't be at school and there'd be a substitute, they would not get that message. So please always call the school office. If there's a change in dismissal or if they're going to be sick, you need to call in the office as well. Kindergarten car pickups are at 305. So that is a little different than our um, other students in the building. If your student is a car rider, um, they are going to be dismissed at 305 on the West Side Drive um, to help with the traffic congestion. Um, and a teacher will bring them out or an aide to help them get into your car. And we ask that you, um, the first few days would be nice if you're outside of your car, just so that they can easily see you and get in that vehicle um, quickly and safely. Um, so that is the kindergarten dismissal. I know that was a lot of information and I hope that that um, kind of put your nerves at ease as you're sending your child to kindergarten. Um, we have a wonderful school, a wonderful classroom, um, and we will try our best to make sure that your child has their best school experience um, here at kindergarten. So I'm looking forward to a great school year. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. You can always send me an email, or if you have um, connected via the dojo, you can send me a message that way as well. So I'm looking forward to a wonderful school year. Thank you for listening.